The aviation business is always adapting to provide efficient, contemporary, and environmentally friendly aircraft as technology advances. Large airplane manufacturers are fighting for consumers' trust. Does this present an opportunity for Airbus while Boeing remains mired in the muck created by the 737 MAX? The entire industry was taken aback when the European manufacturer recently unveiled the concept for a next-generation airplane. What can we expect from this new aircraft? Why is everyone talking about it? Today's program will tell us. Let's get started. Since entering the market, Airbus has launched a variety of aircraft models to fit every need, from the small A220 to the huge Airbus A380. They can please every consumer with their diversity, from wide body to narrow body, from single aisle to twin aisle, and from short range to long range. Airbus recently stated that it is trying to continue improving the fuel efficiency of its aircraft and is in negotiations with engine producer Rolls-Royce about its next narrow-body aircraft. To investigate technology for the upcoming generation of narrow jets, Rolls-Royce has said that it is creating a scaled-down version of its Ultrafan prototype engine. We are now progressing towards a demonstrator on what I call small engines in narrow body, CEO Tuanaran Bilek told reporters at the Farnborough Air Show, adding that the business was discussing the technology initiative with aircraft manufacturers. At the same Paris Air Show a year ago, he informed reporters that Rolls had enough room for expansion in its large engine sector to survive without future alliances in the narrow body market. We are constantly pushing for new generation technologies in materials and engines. It is essential to stay that one technological leap ahead. We have the latest generation technology available today. Julie Kitcher, the Chief Sustainability Officer of Airbus, told the media during the Farnborough International Air Show 2024 that for every new generation of aircraft, we increase fuel efficiency and therefore reduce fuel emissions by around 25%. Airbus's CEO has made it plain that the aircraft builder is striving for major improvements in fuel efficiency, including the capacity to run engines on 100% SAF, which would reduce emissions. At the same time, we are working on hydrogen technology to have a hydrogen-powered aircraft. The two will complement each other. To research hydrogen-powered aircraft and propulsion systems, Airbus has created the Zero Initiative, which includes four aircraft prototypes, a turbofan, a turboprop, a blended wing body, BWB for short, and an electric idea. By 2035, Airbus hopes to have the first commercial aircraft fueled by hydrogen on the market. The Zero project is investigating different setups and technologies to accomplish that, in addition to setting up the ecosystem that will generate and deliver hydrogen. Each of the four Zero E variants will run on hydrogen. As it advances toward its goal of launching a commercial airplane fueled by hydrogen, the manufacturer is hitting several testing and technological benchmarks. Many of these center on the advancement of propulsion, whether it is via direct hydrogen combustion or hybrid hydrogen electric fuel cells. To create hydrogen fuel cell stacks as the central component of an electric propulsion system, Airbus has even established a joint venture with suppliers. Demonstrators for the company's hydrogen combustion and fuel cell propulsion technologies have been launched. Additionally, it has established specialized development facilities to work on tanks and cryogenic fuel systems in France, the UK, Germany, and Spain. Leading the way in testing these technologies, which are essential to launching a commercial aircraft fueled by hydrogen, is Airbus's A380 MSN-1 test bed. Future materials need to be stronger, lighter, and more affordable than ever before to realize cutting-edge aeronautical designs. With an emphasis on digitalization, multifunctionality, and environmental effects, Airbus is now investigating the possibilities of future materials. The utilization of a variety of materials to promote the development of cutting-edge aeronautical concepts has been pioneered by the aerospace industry during the past few decades. These consist of coatings, ceramics, metals, composites, and other associated procedures. Today, sustainability is the main emphasis of Airbus's future materials development. First, an aircraft product's total environmental impact can be improved by reducing its footprint across its worldwide life cycle through resource usage and material waste disposal optimization. The next feature is multifunctionality. 
Incorporating several uses into a material can facilitate predictive maintenance and minimize manufacturing downtime. Additionally, it will enhance mission performance and make advanced concepts possible. Another notable divergence from conventional airplane design is Airbus's revolutionary wing design. Its fuselage and wings are combined into a single continuous shape, a feature known as blended wing body configuration. Aerodynamic advantages are provided by this design. The BWB design lowers drag, which increases range and fuel efficiency. Within the aircraft structure, hydrogen fuel can be distributed and stored more effectively thanks to the BWB design. Additionally, the Zero Wing design integrates a hybrid electric propulsion system that combines a conventional jet engine with a hydrogen fuel cell-powered electric motor. The wing's ability to hold hydrogen tanks guarantees a secure and effective way to store this extremely combustible fuel. Airbus hopes to develop a more efficient and sustainable airplane that may drastically lessen aviation's environmental effects by fusing these cutting-edge features. A crucial element of this enormous project is the BWB wing design. Thank you very much if you have stayed with us this far. To ensure you don't miss any of the most recent aviation news, please subscribe to our channel. If you could like, comment, and share your thoughts about this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Many thanks. A 352,000 Airbus creating an entirely new airplane is quite challenging and can take over 10 years. Therefore, we must also take into account the less hazardous choice of creating a new airplane based on an already existing model that is currently on the market. Yes, the stretched form of the A352000 is what I mean. When it was first presented, industry insiders believed that its adoption would address capacity difficulties. Talk about the A350 extension emerged in the mid-2010s when the A350 began to display its strength. This 2000 variant, with its expanded fuselage from the present A350-1000, was projected to be a major hit. It would have 40 to 50 more seats than the 1000 because it would be around 4 meters longer. In addition to being a difference that some consumers could seek, this would place its capacity into a more competitive range. Additionally, the additional weight would not be greater than the A350-1000's maximum weight. Therefore, if Airbus were to move forward with such a development, it might potentially be powered by the same Rolls-Royce XWB engines. There is still significant disagreement regarding its capabilities. Even though it was initially meant to take the place of the A380 when the Super Jumbo's production run came to an end. The first is the size difference. The A380 is the biggest commercial aircraft ever constructed, with a high-density seating arrangement that can accommodate over 800 passengers. The A350-2000 would probably be far smaller than the Super Jumbo Jet, even if Airbus were to develop it. The market niche comes next. The King of the Skies was mainly built for extremely long-haul flights between important hubs. It is perfect for linking densely populated cities because of its large capacity. Even in its enlarged form, the A350 could not be as popular on these specific routes. But if it is created, the A350-2000 might be able to serve a different market niche. It might be marketed as a more adaptable and efficient substitute for the A380, with a somewhat lower capacity but appropriate for longer journeys. Because of this, it might be appealing to airlines that need a big plane, but don't need the A380's extreme capacity. In the end, several variables such as consumer demand, technological viability, and financial concerns will affect the A350-2000's development. Airbus doesn't seem to be actively working on such a project at this time. To put it briefly, Airbus is leading the way in aviation innovation by investigating both novel aircraft ideas and possible improvements to current models. The corporation leads the market thanks to its emphasis on new technology, including hydrogen engines, fuel efficiency, and sustainability. The new Airbus planes have a bright future. What do you think will happen to them? Please let us know by leaving a comment below. Created for the Ultrafan engine program, the Super Alloy RR1073 can tolerate temperatures up to 50 Kelvin higher than the present RR1000 alloy, providing a longer and more consistent service life. To significantly reduce operating temperatures and improve engine longevity and performance, Rolls-Royce has also redesigned the high-pressure turbine blade cooling system, 
which better reroutes airflow. These cutting edge turbine discs are already being produced and they will soon be included in the XWB84 and XWB97 engines. Upgrades include better secondary air systems, tighter sealing between turbine stages, increased turbine cooling, and improved aerodynamics are also included in the EP version. The purpose of these adjustments is to minimize inefficiencies and further optimize turbine blade clearance. In the meantime, Rolls-Royce is working to improve the XWB97 engine's durability, especially for use in hot and sandy conditions. High-pressure turbine blades will be equipped with improved casting layers to reduce metal wear from high temperatures, and a new sand-resistant coating is being developed to protect engine components. By the end of the year, these improvements should be implemented, establishing new standards for engine efficiency and resilience. Saving money isn't the sole reason for this improvement. Even a slight increase in fuel efficiency becomes crucial since the aviation sector is under growing pressure to lower carbon emissions. Governments, environmental organizations, and travelers who are growing more concerned about the effects on the environment are all scrutinizing airlines. In addition to helping to satisfy these legal requirements, having a fleet with higher fuel efficiency offers a major competitive edge in the marketplace. However, there are many obstacles in the way of putting these enhancements into practice. For good reason, the aviation industry is known for being risk averse. Failure can have serious repercussions that impact both financial stability and safety. The reason stems from the fierce competition in the aviation sector, where even a small performance improvement can result in airlines saving millions of dollars. One of the biggest operational costs for airlines is gasoline, and even a 1% increase in fuel economy can be the difference between profit and loss, particularly on lengthy flights. A lengthy journey from London to Singapore, which usually uses about 70,000 liters of fuel, can help put this into perspective. 700 liters of gasoline are saved every flight with a 1% reduction in fuel use. The savings for a single route quickly reach millions of dollars when multiplied by hundreds of flights annually. Imagine the financial impact of these savings when applied to an airline's whole fleet of A350YCU flying on many international routes. The real test for these enhanced engines will come when they are widely deployed for commercial use. If successful, the enhancements might solidify the A350 status as the most efficient long-haul aircraft in its class allowing it to maintain a competitive edge for years to come. Airlines using the upgraded A350 may experience considerable improvements in profitability, giving them a competitive advantage in an industry where profit margins are notoriously low. But what happens if, despite all measures, unforeseen concerns develop once these engines achieve general commercial use? The aviation industry still remembers the reliability challenges Rolls-Royce encountered with its Trent 1000 engines on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner? Aircraft groundings, severe airline disruptions, and large financial losses resulted from these issues, costing Rolls-Royce billions of dollars and decreasing its market position. Similar issues with the improved engines might cause flight cancellations, groundings, and huge financial losses for A350 airlines. Airbus faces significant risk. If performance or reliability difficulties damage its reputation, and lead to order cancellations or moves to competitors, it could lose its wide-body market dominance. A severe setback would hurt Rolls-Royce. The company invested heavily in these changes, financially and reputationally. A major engine failure could threaten its commercial aviation survival. However, these high risks drive aviation innovation. Failure risks are equal to success benefits. Do you see any more issues with this engine? Rolls-Royce and Airbus would have a huge edge if they could keep their promises. More fuel-efficient aircraft might save airlines a lot of money over time, affecting fleet decisions. How does Airbus upgrade affect Boeing? Boeing faces a big challenge modernizing the A350 engines, especially for long-haul aircraft. Boeing's latest move may nullify the 787 Dreamliner's operational and fuel economy. A 1% fuel economy boost on the A350 may not sound like much, but in aviation, even small numbers can influence airlines' purchasing decisions. Boeing must work hard to match and exceed these advances to regain its edge. Boeing's recent history complicates this endeavor. Boeing's reputation suffered after the 737 MAX issues questioned its quality control and inspection methods. 
Boeing must prove it can produce competitive goods going ahead and rebuild customer trust after these losses. Boeing may lose its long haul market share if Airbus's A350 upgrade, especially its Trent XWB engine cooperation with Rolls-Royce, attracts more customers. Not keeping up with these advances may hurt Boeing's market position. As airlines increase their demands on Airbus in Boeing to function efficiently, their competition will intensify. Boeing must fulfill Airbus's new A350 engine upgrade criterion. As airlines cut expenses and improve the traveler experience, long-haul passengers may see better comfort in service. However, new technology, environmental restrictions, and economic developments may affect how airlines and manufacturers handle future issues in the aviation business. As was mentioned, Boeing is significantly impacted by this. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what Boeing should do, but we leave that open. Please share your thoughts by leaving a comment below.